Hey guys, welcome back to Hawaii. It's getting started, we're uh, about to get sun blocked up. We're going to a place called Black Rock, and I guess you can jump off rocks. There's snorkeling, there's supposed to be sea turtles, and we are going to, really dark in here, we're gonna go check it out, so let's go. If you're coming out of winter time like me, I am white right now. I got definitely a lot of sun, but uh, you know, I have got to minimize my level of sun exposure right now. For how crazy white I am right now, I have to go really heavy for the first few days till I build up some kind of base layer, a suntan base layer. I really gotta go heavy on this nose. It sticks out really far into that sunlight. I think it's past the radiation belt so it gets extra UV rays. I've got this awesome waterproof bag. So I'm putting like my camcorder and non-waterproof electronic stuff in it. And to seal it, you just roll it a couple times and you snap it. Boom, you're waterproof. All aboard. Look at all these flowers, giant trees. We have made it to our destination. Jess, a penny for your thoughts? What do you think? What do you think? It's amazing. I love all the flowers, and every single one is like just the sweetest smelling flower you've ever smelled. Well, let me ask you this. Could you live here? I could basically live in the water, well, so. Well, if you could do it, I could do it. Okay, then we can do it. Then, yep. we're, then we're moving here. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's done. I think I'll sell beads on the beach for, <laughs> for my career. Oh, you can make the little, weave the hats? I don't know how to weave a hat. No, I think you could weave the hat. Okay, I'll weave the hat. And I'll be a stay in the water dad. So like, <laughs> you want to come see me, I'll be in the water. Hey, how about you? Could you live here? It's small it is. It's just a baby. Or maybe it's just small. Okay. There it is. There's the rocks. Water is super clear. I can tell already. I'm super excited. Water's been murky where we are because the waves have been coming in. Wow. That's cool. All we gotta do is get some goggles on and you can. Wow. Awesome, so friendly. All right, let's get our stuff out. All right, switching to the new GoPro. Still makes me nervous, no case. Yeah, we're suiting up. Here we go. Connor froze out already. I actually threw my suit on and we're going back out. Dude, you got a flying salmon. Yeah, you got a flying salmon. <laughs> wow, I gotta be wet closer. So much beautiful life out there. I love this rock, look at this rock. It's like totally surrounded in lava and then inside is like this egg of rock. Weird. Tons of turtles here, tons of turtles here. Got oh, that yeah. sea turtle, dude, he was just <laughs> hanging out with What us. size hook did you use to catch him? Uh, it's just a quarter. Oh, yeah, nice, it's a quarter. quarter hook. Man. All right, well that was Black Rock Beach. Did some cliff jumping, some fantastic snorkeling with tons of turtles. See what else we can get into. 
Let's see. Let's see what else we can do. They must have seen you coming. They dropped flowers all over the ground for you. They knew you'd be walking. Got, like, he's awesome. Oh, he's so all and gone. <laughs> so fast. They get shy around the camera. You can't get too close. I guess you can live pretty inexpensively here. You're not going to be oceanfront, but there's a place for pretty much every income, I think. think yeah, and that's the thing is beach access is everywhere. Daddy. This is Hawaiian's pine cone. It looks just like a pine cone, but it's total flower. Hawaii has pine trees too. And the needles, they go upward. I don't know what they're called yet. I want to know what they're called. But they're, they look just like pine trees, but then all the needles go upward. If you're not staying at these hotels, you basically have to valet your car. So we're just hanging out, waiting for the valet to get our key. Oh, there's valet. Stopping in a shop, doing a little like shopping. I love this shirt. It's got like Darth Vader and a surfboard. May the surf be with you. It's funny. What are you finding? What are you finding here? Some really cute shirts. Oh, Hawaii. Maui, Hawaii. Maui, Hawaii. Maui, Hawaii. That makes sense. Maui, Hawaii. Man, you guys got the ultimate snow cone. You should have seen how big it was. I saw it. Yeah, we packed it oh. down. <laughs> Is it good? Man, I wish you could eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys pick the flavor separately or was that a recipe? Separately. Separately. They've got like, I don't know, infinite flavors and they, you can mix and match. So the guys who took us surfing said they had a spare guitar that they're letting my dad borrow for the week. Take it away, Dad. We're using the van as surfboard storage. So when we're not using it, we set it over here and then when we don't need it, ooh, just ding my board. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Go ahead and shove it in. Oh my gosh. Poor rentals. Gag on rental van. So we're using the van as board storage, and I think that's common in Hawaii. Use your vehicle for board storage. Getting back, getting some lunch. Justin, the kids already ate while we were at Black Rock. So uh, yeah, I'm hungry. So I'm going to dig into a tuna fish salad sandwich, some grapes, and some uh, cheese dip and chips. Mm. <laughs> Running down to the beach and uh, we're gonna try to catch the sunset. I got my GoPro and a tripod and uh, it was just amazing last night. There's quite a bit of clouds tonight, but uh, I'm gonna try to capture it. Oh, I just saw some whales jump and blow some stuff in the air. Look at this. Let's get down here by the water so no one stands in front of it. This GoPro's new, I really don't know how to use it. So let's see if I can get to like time lapse mode or something. I have no idea. Do like low frames. That'll save some space. Three hours and 39 minutes, that ought to do it. 100% battery, let's do this. Bam! That is a magnificent picture right there. We can build a castle. Ooh, that looks like a it looks like a good way to do it though. Get it, Conrad. It is good. Put it there. You want me to do it? Nice. But I'm gonna try. There's whales jumping literally every minute, so I'm gonna try to capture a whale. It's gonna be far away, but it'll be cool if I can capture it. They're all over. It's all very about black. So I. I'm doing a horrible job capturing the whales. They're either over there, over there. When you zoom this thing in, it's like such a narrow window of opportunity to capture them. But I think I'm, I think I'm giving up. Oh, we just saw three jumps in a row, and with the sunset and with the boats going by, the view is just amazing. Maui, amazing. Something I've realized here, the grass is always greener on the other side. We're meeting these locals, but some of them talk about how like, there's nothing to do here in Maui, and this is like paradise to me. So it's like everyone wants what they don't got, and uh, I think you have to make it paradise. Cause like to us, we want a vacation here, and this is like the holy grail of, wow, imagine what it'd be like to live here. And then the people living here are like, oh, I gotta get off this island, there's nothing to do, it's so small, there's nothing to see. You know, they're, they're bored of it. Like the classic grass is greener on the other side. And then when we go to the Bahamas, a lot of the Bahamian people vacation to Ohio. Why would anyone do that? Maybe they think, why would we go down there to visit them? I'm not sure, but it's really strange. Um, but I'm sure that's why that line is so famous because one man's paradise isn't another man's paradise. But right now I am definitely in paradise.
for me. Maybe not for you. Maybe you want to go down to Antarctica. Maybe that's your paradise. I think the statement's true. All right, we're getting close on our sunset. We're like, I don't know, halfway there. Yeah. We got waves rolling in. Whales jumping. Beautiful sunset. Palm trees, the beach. Kids playing. This sun's just about to cuss the earth. That was a beautiful it's a, day. It's about to get dark. Well, just beautiful, beautiful sunset. <laughs> I'm a little blind from staring at this. Yeah, I got, I got like this orange dot yeah. in my vision every yeah. time I close my eyes. Now it's a little dark. Hey everyone, let's go stare at the sun. Ha! Ah. <laughs> now you're blind. Nice. I don't see no what the heck? Them are big fish tails. Tops of sharks, dude. The tails would be right, right there. Look they at them. Are. Oh, they're kind of spread out now. What you know the? What? They're big. They're big, and their tail, their tails come yeah, clear up like out of the water. The well, we couldn't capture, but every time the tide goes down, there must be some big fish in here. And when it goes down, the, all their fins on their back stick up out of the water like mini jaws. Jess wants to get in them, but I just want to keep you safe. Don't, don't go. I would never. Don't swim with them fish. You can still see them rippling around, but I just can't capture them. I think that's really what I like about the ocean too, is that it's so mysterious. You don't know what's going on under the water. You could probably snorkel the same spot every day for a year and see something different every single day. That's really cool. It's, it's always changing. All right, Connor, your castle's coming along really nice. Nice indeed. Noah, how are we doing down here? It's huge. Close that off when you get the sitter done. No. This is like for industrial trucks to get in and out to yeah. drop off supplies. Yeah. Do it, do it. Lift your hands even higher. Above your head, you gotta go above your head. There you go. All right, hop up. It's beautiful. Ah! It looks like a gumball machine, he says. So it's dark out and I bought these underwater dive lights before we got here. I'm gonna slap some batteries in them and we're all gonna take them in the pools. We got them. Whoops. Let's do this. <laughs> Check us out. Ooh, it straps on, that's awesome. How cool, that's when we turn it on. How's that, Connor? Yeah. <laughs> Cross the beams. <laughs> disco party, disco party, disco party, disco party, disco party, disco party. All right, Dale's gonna be the victim. We're gonna strap four flashlights to him, one on each wrist and on his ankles. What's your superhero name gonna be? Lightman. Lightman. You started as Dale, and now you've become Lightman. It looks cool. And you can see where you're walking. That looks <laughs> awesome. Dumbass. That does look cool. I'm just gonna walk on these rocks. <laughs> Alright, just getting dried up from the pool. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me on this Hawaiian journey. Thanks once again. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.